एवरीवन वेलकम टू बिग डेटा थॉट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज एजोर सिनेप्स सीक्वल सो वी विल लुक इनटू व्हाट इट इज व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स व्हाट आर द फीचर्स दैट इट प्रोवाइड्स एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ टूल्स डज इट सपोर्ट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज एजोर सिनेप्स सीक्वल नाउ एजोर सिनेप्स एनालिटिक्स एज वी ऑल नो इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर एज अ सर्विस provided by microsoft it's a saas offering uh, which is provided on azure cloud now azure synapse analytics support sql based data querying because synapse analytics is a combination of big data and data warehousing so sql is something which becomes mandatory because people have been using sql for decades when they were using rdbms or data warehouses so synapse analytics also support sql now that sql can be um, supported by two ways one a serverless pool second a dedicated sql pool and this synapse sql uses a distributed query processing model because what it does is for greater performance it uh, does a distributed query processing which means the query is distributed to different nodes and they are executed in parallel all the sql operations we will look at it how actually it works architecturally but simply put it is a distributed query processing model which can parallelize the sql operation that's azure synapse sql and it is supported by the synapse analytics now synapse sql if we talk about four prominent features or salient features about synapse sql one it is a scale out architecture so when you Uh, run a query on Azure Synapse Analytics using Synapse SQL. It distributes that query to different nodes, and it can scale out. It it ha it distributes computational processing of data across multiple nodes. That is how it becomes performance efficient. It can distribute this query query or scale out the query to different nodes. The compute and storage can scale independently. Now, this is a very important point because the compute and the storage are not tightly coupled. So, you can scale both of them independently based on the need. The unit of scale, or how does the scale out happen? Is the unit of scale is a DW data warehousing unit. So, that is the unit of scale based on which the scale out happens. now how does it work let us look at the architecture underlying architecture of how synapse sql works so if you can see there is a control node here which is kind of a brain of the system this control node is manipulating all of these compute nodes so synapse sql essentially uses a node based architecture so there are multiple node on which the actual query runs so whenever our app in an in our application we are writing a sql query what will happen is the application will connect an issue that t sql command to a control node because this is the one which is controlling the entire operation that's why it is named as a control node so whenever the application submits a query it goes to the control node which is the single point of entry to any synapse sql whenever we are executing a sql the single point of entry is the control node the sql control node will utilize a distributed query engine like we looked at the features that it is a scale out architect architecture it uses distributed query engine so who does that distribution of the query is the control node and how does it do is it decides how the query needs to be distributed so that is it, it is most optimized and performance efficient the control node will distribute it to different compute nodes it will choose the compute nodes on which it wants to run the query and pass on the query to those nodes now as a result of that the query can be executed in parallel and it is very very performance efficient so this is the overall architecture having one node which is the entry point and then distributing it to multiple compute nodes we spoke about serverless sql pool and dedicated sql pool the two types of pools now how does a serverless sql pool work the scaling here in a serverless is done automatically to accommodate the resource requirements because it is serverless it will scale automatically if more resources are needed it will scale and how does it scale it's a scale out kind of an architecture uh what 
as and when the query is executing and the topology changes over time what it does is it just adds and remove nodes and it can happen if the resource requirements uh, increase or decrease or if there is a failover so basically the serverless sql pool can actually dynamically adapt to the changes and it makes sure that the query has enough resources we don't have to explicitly scale up or scale down because it is serverless it will be automatically taken care of based on the need of the resources so that's the beauty of using a serverless sql pool now uh, so as i mentioned serverless sql pool will scale automatically but in a dedicated pool how the scale will happen is it will grow and shrink shrink uh, compute power without moving the data and why it is important to understand that there is no data movement is because if there is a data movement the performance will get hampered so in a dedicated pool also there is no data movement when scaling is happening and why is that it is because the compute and the storage are decoupled they can scale independently and there is no tight coupling hence the storage is separate so we can scale the processing independent of the storage so there is no data movement even though we are scaling up or scaling down in case of dedicated pool also one more advantage is we can pause the compute capacity while we are not using uh, the compute so that will save us some cost so when we pause the compute capacity it is not affecting the data or the data doesn't get deleted it remains intact in the storage because it is decoupled and when the compute we are not using the compute or we have paused it we are not paying for the compute we are just paying for the storage because our data is still stored somewhere and we can resume the compute when we need it so it is very efficient in terms of costing so these are the ways in which you are actually scaling in a dedicated pool and in serverless you don't have to really pause or resume or do anything because it is scaling automatically now storage what is the storage that azure sql is utilizing so azure uh, sql or synapse sql is actually leveraging the azure storage that is why we say that there is a separate storage cost associated and it is completely decoupled from the compute when the data is ingested into a dedicated sql pool the data is sharded into distributions now what is happening when we are using a dedicated sql pool and we are ingesting data it will be distributed across different nodes and this distribution helps in performance because when we submit a query since the data is distributed on different nodes the controller node will also distribute the query to different compute nodes where the data is residing and now how this distribution is happening is the distribution is happening based on a sharding pattern sharding means we are just chunking the data into different pieces and then putting it on the compute nodes this sharding sharding can happen in three ways either a hash algorithm can be used round robin can be used or replication can be used when we say replication the data will be replicated on each and every compute node round robin is in a round robin fashion it will be distributed and hashing we will have a hashing algorithm based on which the data would be distributed but essentially whenever data is ingested into a dedicated sql pool it shards the data to different compute nodes now we when we looked at the architecture we spoke about different types of nodes let us look at those nodes in a bit of detail so first node that we spoke about in the architecture was control node what is a control node the control node is the main part or the brain of the architecture it is the single point of entry uh, for any query that we are writing so it is it is the front end that interacts with all applications and connections so in our application whenever we write a query and submit it it will first contact the controller node which is the entry point and then the controller node will distribute that to the compute nodes and it behaves a little bit differently in case of serverless versus the dedicated pool so in a serverless sql pool the dqp dqp engine means data query processing engine runs on the control node so first of all the data query processing engine is running on the control node and the control node will optimize and coordinate distributed execution of the query 
how it will coordinate that execution is it will split the query into smaller queries and then execute them on each of the compute nodes <coughs> so this whole process of understanding the query breaking into into smaller queries and distributing it to the compute nodes is done by the brain which is known as the control node the second type of node in that architecture was the compute node these are the work horses these are the uh, nodes which provide the computational power in a serverless sql pool each compute node is assigned a task and a set of files on which it has to execute and who does that is the controller node similarly in the dedicated sql pool distributions map to compute nodes for processing it's the similar concept whether it is dedicated pool or serverless pool the distribution always happens <coughs> on the compute nodes it is done by the uh, controller node and then the query executes so that it is executing in parallel the number of compute nodes can range from 1 to 60 now this was all about how what is synapse sql what is how is the architecture uh, there and what are the different kinds of nodes that are there how do they interact i hope this helps you to get a very brief overview about what synapse sql is and how does it execute so thank you so much everyone for listening in please like share and subscribe to the channel